Well, here come the ever most dominant WXW C4 Elite Tag Team Champions. They are the GOAT. They call themselves the greatest of all time for a reason, and they've been backing it up month after month here at C4. Their name says it all, my friend. Their name says it all. Greatest of all time. I don't care if they're facing these thugs from Philly. They're going to remain the greatest of all time and leave the greatest of all time. Well, it's, but it's become cliche in this industry, but I have to say it. The battle lines have been drawn in the proverbial sand, uh, and the time for talking is done. Uh, the current champs battle the former champs with the elite tag team gold on the line. This one is going to be exciting. And right there, we see absolute Chris Cage, superstar whiplash in the X Factor, Ivy Roman. She... Yeah, baby. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. I just saw her winking at me, I think. Either that or she can't believe the ugly sweater you're wearing. I, I honestly, I'll believe the second rather than the first. I'll be the self-deprecating superstar on this one. How many more chances is WXWC4 going to give these two thugs from Philadelphia? I hope this is it. Well, there's their music and the crowd explodes. I've never liked anyone from Philly. I've never liked anything from Philly and I hate these two from Philly. And I think the greatest of all time could be the first tag team that is not even intimidated once with those bats. They could care less. I'd like somebody to take that baby powder and crack you across the face right now, RC. Gotta have some respect for all the competitors in this ring. I don't respect them from Philadelphia, absolutely not. They're a bunch of thugs and they shouldn't be in WXWC4. This crowd is going nuts for the challengers. I don't understand why the crowd likes these thugs. Control yourself. Amazing ring introductions as always from Carolina Jim, but now the official holding the prize 
in the air. This is what it's all about. The WXW C4 Elite Tag Team Championship. Could this be a night of redemption of sorts for South Philly's finest? Of course, SPF, the former Elite Tag Team Champions, losing those coveted straps to the current champions you see in the ring. Absolute Chris Cage, Superstar Whiplash, the greatest of all time. And I heard a Zoltan reference in there somewhere as well. Goat, baby, goat! The bell sounds were underway. It's our second championship match of the evening. And it looks like we're gonna start things off with Superstar Whiplash, who's covering the ears of Absolute Chris Cage as they are trying to filter out those SPF chants. Collar and elbow tie up with Luca Brazzi. Quick top wrist lock, but wow, the speed. Superstar Whiplash hanging in there. But once again, that top wrist lock wrenched in, snapping him over. Wow. Snap there and a beauty. And now the challengers looking to take the early edge extremely early on in this championship affair. You know, and I saw before, I don't know if you caught it, David Adams, but Conway was making fun of the size of greatest of all time. Bottom line is, who's wearing the belt? Well, that would be the greatest of all time. That shoulder tackle takedown. Takes down Superstar Whiplash. Going for that arm drag, gut punch, and a hip toss reversal from the line of Luca Brazzi. Listen, I might not like these two guys, but I'll give them their due. They are very talented individuals inside the ring and they cannot be taken lightly. Absolutely, these literally are the two best teams that WXW C4 currently has to offer as that big Philly boot stop for the win right here, but no. The gent Jimmy Conway, this guy, he's brash, he's foul mouthed at times, he's got a hot head, but he's extremely talented, he gets the job done, and a knife edge chop right to one half of the GOAT. Right now, Superstar Whiplash getting beat up hard. Oh, they just told him he's number one. And a big shoulder block right into the midsection, snap me out of the corner. With the championship on the line, hook in the leg. Referee out of position. That's what happens. Absolute Chris Cage saving the match for his team, distracting the referee for just a couple seconds, enough that his tag team partner, Superstar Whiplash, able to kick out. As the match continues, the elite tag team titles on the line. SPF doing what they do, double team tactics here. Double elbow smashing a beauty. Uh-oh. Come. RC, calm down. Be careful, my love. Ivy Roman on the apron. And no, 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 no. Jim Don't you dare, Conway. Jimmy licked his palm, and now he's going to stiff her in the face. Oh, Ivy Roman, though. Did you see what just happened? Distracting the referee. Absolute Chris Cage came in to help Superstar Whiplash. They double teamed Luca Brazzi, and he's out of there. And now Jimmy Conway. He's been isolated into the GOAT's corner, far, far, far away from Luca Brazzi. This is a military-esque tactic, and it's working perfectly. All she wanted to do was tell Conway that he is not a gentleman. That's all she wanted to do. Well, whatever she was doing, it was very effective, and she's been very, very, very resourceful since appearing in the corner of the GOAT here at WXWC4. Rumor has it she's at ringside just so she can check me out a little bit closer. Well, I don't know about all that, but what I do know is that this ref referee is being manipulated perfectly by the devious trio here of Absolute Chris Cage, Superstar Whiplash, and Ivy Roman as Jimmy Conway has been isolated completely and he's in a lot of trouble right now as the GOAT is using every tactic in the book to 
hopefully in their minds win this match. And why? Because they're the greatest of all time, David Adam. Irish whip in the corner and Conway moves out of the way. Elbow smash. Oh, and he's, he slings whiplash into cage. Here comes the line. Luca Browns has been tagged in. SPF building momentum. Conway should be getting out of there. Why is he still in there? And Whiplash drops the shoulder. Oh, but he can't drop a shoulder on Conway. Uh-oh. Referee, get somebody out of the ring. How many How many SPFs are there? For the cover. That should have even been the cover. Conway was in there well over five seconds. It should have been a DQ at this point. Well, nobody here wants to see a disqualification. Everybody would love to see a clear-cut victory. But in your defense, this is the challengers are the ones that really need to beat the champions. The champions, they can duck out. They can get disqualified. They can get counted out. And they can still walk out of Allentown with their coveted tag team title. I don't care what you want to see. All I want to see is Ivy. Woohoo! Hey, honey, over here. Now Jimmy Conway putting his hands on the referee. That's borderline disqualification right now. Hey, RC, you ever been fish hooked? He's about to get fish hooked. Oh, that's terrible! He tells Absolute Chris Cage that that he's number one Philly style, and then he fish hooks Whiplash, and he's about to fish hook Ivy Roman, and not in the PG way. He better not even touch that lovely Ivy. And a scoop slam from Conway. Here comes Brazzi. SPF looking to regain those Covenant Tag Team titles. Beautiful double team suplex. For the win, hooks the leg, two, does he get him, but not. Goat needs a tag, he needs to get out of there in the worst way or the belts are gonna be leaving the greatest of all time. And that would be a travesty of justice. Only because that means the belts will be going to the stinking streets of Philly. Irish whip reversal now for Whiplash. Absolute Chris Cage and a spine buster. Over, Adams, over! Could be right here. Will he get him? The one thing that SPF does have going for them is that the Monster Rays is not here tonight. The near 400 pound member of the greatest of all time. He's not here. Ivy Roman's here, so they still have the numbers game advantage. But let me tell you, Rays, he's a whole lot more intimidating than Ivy Roman. Yeah, he should be here. I'm not too happy about that whole decision. Nice snap suplex. Northern Lights for the win. One, two. Oh. What a beautiful bridge, too. It was. Uh -oh. And he, he, he should be mad at the official. He hit that German, or I'm sorry, that Northern Lights suplex so quickly, the referee was out of position for about a second. And coincidentally, SPF kicked out on two. Could have been a three count. It could have been the end of the match. Could have, should have been it, but it's not. The action continues. The elite tag team titles on the line. And here comes Superstar Whiplash. Go in complete control right now. And here we go. Talk about Whiplash. Here comes some right now. <laughs> oh. Throat connects with the esophagus right there. And not a good mixture right there. Slingshot. Absolute destruction there. And Ivy Roman. What has she got in mind? As the referee is being distracted. She's just checking on him. Yeah, she, she's like, I ain't doing nothing. Get in there, Luca. Oh, the foot's on the rope. Is he going to win it? Though the referee saw it. Good job for, for the referee to see that. This numbers game slowly becoming impactful and not looking good for the duo of SPF as... They gotta worry about not two, but three goats. Now stop, that's very insulting. Three greatest of all time. Now that's better. Okay. Scoop Slam, once again, tag in to the absolute Chris Cage. Tag team specialist. Double team back body jump, and a senton splash from Chris Cage. Greatest of all time. For the cover, hooking the leg, retaining right here perhaps. 
Jimmy Conway relieved. Luca Brasi still has a little gas left in the tank, able to kick out, and the match continues. Now just wearing him down, wearing Luca down. I love it. A highly competitive tag team affair. We expected nothing less going in. The current champions defending against the former champions, SPF, looking for some resolve tonight, looking for some redemption, looking for the ultimate holiday present, taking home 40 pounds of gold in the form of the elite tag team title. Can't these people shut up? Do something, David Adams. SPF. SPF, I'll that's ridiculous. I'll join the people. In all seriousness, though, you know, I like SPF and I respect the GOAT. You know, there's no clear-cut favorite here. Both of these teams have the ring experience. They have the respect. You know, they do have the respect of one another. The GOAT may not show it, but you know what? They wouldn't have accepted this challenge. Right here, Luca Brasi escapes, but just like that absolute Chris Cage, Puts him back down, hellacious lariat, and now the GOAT's still back in control. And it's only a matter of time, I'm telling you right now, the greatest of all time, they are literally just toying with, with Luca. It's gonna be over in no time. And that's it, this better be the last opportunity that these two son of a you know what get. Well, certainly could be a correct assumption here. I don't know what you're referring to, PG era. As the action continues. Rain is the ball time. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. And Luca able to reverse the double delayed vertical suplex into a double neck breaker. Are you kidding me? They can't uh, let him tag. They can't let him tag, David Adams. No, cut him off. He's clawing. Cut him off. Scraping the Gen Jimmy Conway. He's biting that top rope there. He's losing his mind. Uh, don't let him tag. How you doing? How you doing? Forget about it. Philly sidekick. Round and round he goes, landing on the back of his head, everyone knows. And now, Jimmy Conway losing his money. Said he's gonna kill him, figuratively. Oh wow, whiplash though, quick reversal. Oh, he planted him. He sure did. That was quite resiliency. As the GOAT were building momentum, they just stopped Jimmy right in his tracks. That's pretty impressive. Luca misses the line. But it's not the end of the line. Once again, oh. Slice bread number two by two. Man, oh man. That equals four. The win, perhaps, but you got to cover them. Cover them. Well, they're idiots from Philly. They don't know. I don't agree with that part, but I do I do think they need to cover them, but maybe they got to... Oh, there you go. Double elbow drop. They obviously have a plan. I'm just a rig announcer. Who, who am I to, you know, look into their strategy? But she needs to do something. She needs to, to do something right now. She needs to stand in the corner and mind her business. She's a manager, a valet, not a wrestler. Uh -oh. And now Whiplash sends Luca to the outside. Rolls up Jimmy, the referee out of place. Can he get him? And that's it. <laughs> Just like that. <laughs> Greatest of all time. Well, the greatest of all time, out of nowhere, SPF was building the momentum, but just like that, that's what makes them the GOAT. They don't send the fans home with the result they wanted. They go home with the winner's share of the purse, and they go home, still the elite tag team champions, and they go home with Ivy Roman. That's the real prize right there. She certainly did prove her weight in gold, as she contributed to the numbers game. I love this crowd is in awe. I love it. They're finally shut up in Allentown. It is quite a stunned silence as 
SPF was looking to end 2017 with a celebratory victory, and it just wasn't meant to be. Sometimes the picture that people paint in their heads, when you go to apply it to canvas, it looks nothing like that image you thought. And that's what we're seeing here tonight as absolute Chris Cage and superstar Whiplash with the assistance of Ivy Roman, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, the Zoltan have you, still the WXWC4 Elite Tag Team Champion. How about this for a prediction, David Adams? I predict that the greatest of all time, they're gonna retire as Tag Team Champions because there's no one in WXWC4 that's gonna beat them. Until that day comes, I am stuck agreeing with RC. They are the team to beat. They are the team that closes out the 2017 calendar year as your reigning, defending, still, WXWC4. The word elite means everything in this sentence. Elite tag team champions. Ivy, over here. Run, Ivy, run. RC, we're going to get slapped with a suit yet. Yeah.